Hi, I am Julia Giora. I am a member of PLASI at its Brazilian office, working with data quality and development of learning content. I will be here presenting engaging the community in fair taxonomic data liberation, an overview of training resources at PLASI. PLASI is a nonprofit organization based in Switzerland, founded in 2008. PLASI supports and promotes the development of persistent and openly accessible digital taxonomic literature. The Brazilian office has eight members working on journal templating, data extraction and quality control, and development of learning materials and activities to further disseminate openly accessible data. In the digital age, with knowledge about biodiversity mainly found in digital scientific publications, information should be uploaded to several repositories or databases. To supply these repositories, data must be transformed into machine-readable formats. Also, users need to be trained and equipped to properly assess and make use of the data. The openly accessible data is known as FAIR data. FAIR data stands for findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable, and it may be applied to many kinds of data as figures, tables and bibliographic references. PLASI's main goal is to discover non-biodiversity, create a list of the Earth's non-taxa, and relate digital accessible knowledge embedded in scholarly publications as fair digital objects. PLASI also aims to discuss the future of publishing with digital accessible knowledge in biodiversity. To this end, PLASI maintains a digital taxonomic literature repository and enhances submitted taxonomic treatments by creating machine-readable versions of documents, participates in the development of new models for publishing taxonomic treatments, and advocates and educates about the vital importance of maintaining free and open access to scientific data. Talking more generally about tools, Treatment Bank is a service provided by PLASI to liberate data from scholarly publications and convert, enhance, link, store and disseminate it as fair data. After data extraction and quality control processes, data fit to become reference deposits of treatments in the Biodiversity Literature Repository, BLR, as well as daily uploads of treatment article data sets to the Global Biodiversity Information Facility, GBIF. With persistent identifiers minted in BLR, all data are openly accessible in various formats and are searchable. For the extraction of data from publications, PLASI makes use of the program Golden Gate Imagine, or just GGI. Through this software, users are able to extract data individually from articles or create templates for automated data extraction. Learning resources. In order to increase the reach of PLASI's mission and tools, we have been developing a set of learning materials and activities, thus enabling users to release data on their own, while also inspiring the development of enhanced new tools and building a collaborative community. PLASI Community Repository on GitHub is the go-to open hub for external contributions. As part of the new activities, we are developing a text-based certificate granting online GGI course for individual extractions and template creation. The certificate granted allow users to process and upload files on their own. Screencasts using course materials will also be available at PLASI's website. Moreover, in 2023, PLASI started a series of workshops and courses to the scientific community around the world. These courses have been mainly organized and taught by Jonas Castro and I with the support of Tatiana Ruscio. The development of tools and learning models is co-founded by Arcadia Found, Bicycle and eBioDive projects. In February 2023, PLASI's first online two-day training course, Biodiversity and Digital Media, linking material citations and publications to specimens, took place. It was also organized in collaboration with Mobilize Coast Action. The main theoretical topics addressed were the concept of fair data, the PLASI's workflow, 
the repositories of taxonomic data, and an outlook on how to convert data from missing publications aiming for a future of publishing according to fair data requirements. The practical activities were focused on the eBioDive matching service, with participants linking specimens in Global Biodiversity Information Facility to material citations extracted from scholarly publications and made available through PLAS's treatment bank. This interactive training initiative gave the opportunity for 20 participants from 11 countries representing 14 institutions of natural history research to get informed and exercised on the accessibility and reuse of taxonomic data using digital platforms and repositories. With a larger scope and longer schedule, PLAS's presential course, The Taxonomy Integrated to Digital Media, How to Facilitate the Access and Reuse of Taxonomic Data by the Scientific Community, was held twice in April 2023, aiming to teach local scientists how to facilitate the access and reuse of scholarly published taxonomic data by themselves, as well as the scientific community at large. The course gave the participants the opportunity to start their certifications as data analysts and data liberators through PLAS's treatment bank and aim to prepare new trainers for, from different countries and scientific lines to increase data liberation and reuse according to the FAIR data concept. The compendium included theoretical and practical classes covering conceptual to practical aspects of taxonomic publishing to data liberation and linking. It made use of the golden gate to liberate data and treatment bank and the biodiversity literature repository to disseminate and reuse it. After the courses, participants receive a login and password to extract and liberate data using GGI and PLASIS platforms as new certificates. The liberations are approved by the PLASI team and the new certificates receive feedbacks concerning data quality by email until fully qualified. The certification procedures aim to increase the data liberation community by adding researchers from all around the world and specialists from different fauna and flora groups. The first version of the course was performed at Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul in Porto Alegre, Brazil. There were 13 participants, all graduate and postgraduate students from University Zoology Department. During the course, 18 publications were processed and are now available in BLR and GBIF, including 54 treatments. PLASI and SAMBI, South African National Biodiversity Institute, conducted a training course at the University of Pretoria. The course had the participation of 21 researchers, curators, technicians, and graduate students from different South African and Nigerian biodiversity institutions. Efforts were focused on the South African fauna and flora, and during the course, 24 publications were processed and are now available in BLR and GBIF, including 217 treatments. For our courses, these virtual classrooms have been prepared using the Google Classroom platform. In the classrooms, the course material is available as well as support material for the participants to follow data liberation and reuse after the course independently. In addition, the platform is used to carry out exercises during classes, allowing individual feedback to be sent to each participant and the direct interaction between them and the PLASI team. PLASI already has had an important journey making data fair and is recently using the learning activities to catalyze a culture change in the way biodiversity data is identified, linked, integrated, and reused across the research cycle, also aiming to start building a community interested in biodiversity informatics area and maybe collaborators to PLASI or other organizations that support openly accessible digital taxonomic literature. Thank you.